Just 15 years ago, one in 20 jockeys were women. Now it's one in three. It's only a matter of time before a woman wins the Melbourne Cup and a place in history. But it's a career that has its risks. It's the only job in the world where an ambulance follows you around at work. Danger is ever present. Here's Denham Hitchcock. What about this one here? Oh, yeah, that's my mama when she was a bit young. Wow. What's she doing here? Riding the horses. Did you watch her when she was at the racetracks? Yeah, I always went there. Oh, I still do. Did everyone cheer a lot? <laughs> yeah. That's my mum. 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 And that's my mum. This is a good book to show people, isn't it, about your mum? Coda's yeah, very proud of her mum, isn't she? Um, she showed me that book uh, almost when we arrived. How would you describe her? You know, for her age, she's uh, very mature. They're very social. She loves races. She goes every week. Everyone knows her. That's when we had balloons and we, all the balloons, we let her go and we let, put, let, put them up in the air. They went for my mama. Do you know what happened to your mum? When she was on the horse, out just behind the winning post, so that's the winning post, mm. right behind it, like here, and then when it bucked her up really high, so she went to the clouds and she went head first on the ground and it got something in her head. Mm. When she was out of hospital, she died there. Mm. I don't think it sank in for a fair while, you know, until, um, yeah, I suppose uh, she started missing her, you know. Coda is six years old. Her mum, Simone, died in August last year. The sport Simone loved so dearly claimed her life. Like all jockeys, she knew the risks and the rewards. Simone was a champion. 27 wins in, in one season with Darwin Jockey of the Year. She really knew her craft. We'd go to the races every Saturday, so, yeah, we were there for her, but, um, yeah, I just didn't uh, tell her often enough, you know, how proud we were. Simone was part of the new breed. The sport of kings is becoming the province of women, swapping fashion in the field for silks in the saddle. This is a sport that's been dominated by men for perhaps 400 years. And in the last 20, which is a very small period of time in the history of horse racing, they've come from absolutely nowhere to being a force in racing. It's a sport based on winners and losers. But the real gamble is out there on the track, the gamble being taken by the jockeys. They have one of the most dangerous jobs on earth. Being a jockey is the most dangerous land-based job that you can do. Is it really? Almost before she could crawl, Caitlin Mallion could ride. Granddad was a jockey, mum was a jockey, dad was a jockey, brother's a jockey. Was there any option for you, really? No, it was just destined to be, wasn't it? In 2012, Caitlin was the first female jockey to win Victorian Apprentice of the Year. Getting there was tough. Early starts, long hours, and more than a few falls. But the payoff on race day, when you are leading the pack... Pat and Megan picks up the ride on this one. ..is like nothing on earth. A bit sure of a Caitlin. Especially when you're on a, you know, a, you know, a horse that's got a really good chance in the race, and to have them travelling underneath you and, and when you ask them to go and they, and they really perform for you, it's, a, you know, the biggest thrill. Fontaine Ruby is scorching home down the outside. She's coming but with the thrills... Fontaine Ruby won't get a will. She, she bought out the winner. ...come the spills. Oh, he's fallen! Off they go. In May 2012 at Flemington, Caitlin's horse clipped the heels of the horse in front and went down. Caitlin was lucky to survive. I had a compressed uh, fracture of my T6 vertebrae, uh, a lacerated spleen. I, I fractured my cheekbone and I was placed into a coma for four days. Now, you do know that most people get an injury like that walk away from the sport, should you have given it up? 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't ever um, give up being a jockey. It was that same passion that consumed Simone Montgomery. And dream face for Simone Montgomery will win. You look like you were in control of the race a long way out. Yeah, definitely. Um, she just kept on fighting, so, yeah, I was very happy with the run. Well done, Simone. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It was August the 5th last year, and 26-year-old Simone was the star attraction at the Darwin Cup. Simone was only 200 metres from that finishing post when she fell. There were no other horses around her, there was no interference. Her horse, Rhea Grand, suddenly stepped sideways and she came down. But it wasn't the fall that killed her, but the heavy hooves of the horses travelling behind. She had um, massive traumatic chest injuries. The other thing I find is in my job, I, get, I spend 12 hours a day truck driving. And I 10 of those hours are spent uh, thinking about Simone. That moment when a jockey falls is always heart in your mouth stuff. Because if you're a 50 kilo jockey and you're riding a horse that's 500 kilos of rippling muscle, and it's in front of a field of 15 other 500 kilo horses moving at the same speed. That is dangerous. Now this is horsepower. And to fully appreciate it, you have to be up here. Now a canter like this, that's one thing, but a flat out gallop is another. Because the adrenaline that he feels, yeah, I get it as well. Now right now I'm traveling on a half ton ball of muscle at close to 60 kilometres an hour. Coming off now would be like being in a car accident without the airbags. Ooh. Ooh. AJA have said that 90% of jockeys over their lifetime will have at least one serious fall. Did you think about the danger when you were racing? Well, you know it is dangerous, but you just don't think that you're going to go out there and end up in a position that I am. Good morning. Mother of two, Louise Cooper, has no feeling from the chest down. Before she was paralysed, Louise was a jockey. She started riding at two years of age, a jockey at 16. So when she met Matt at a country pub and found out he was a horse trainer, the last piece of the puzzle fell into place. She looked pretty good on the wedding day, huh? Yeah, wow. It's hard to... I actually now have a tear roll down my face thinking no, I must be lucky. Because, no, she did look so good. Life was good and got better when along came Jack and Sam. She took a break from racing but eventually made the decision that she could be both mum and a jockey. Her two great loves. Stand patiently. They're away this time. But in this race... On this Victorian country track in March 2012, her life changed. Louise stood to earn $150 for the ride. It cost her more than that. And this first time that you've been back here since the accident? Yes, I've drove past, but I haven't actually come on the course, no. What's it like? It's OK. The field and once fell over, Escrivaz dropped the rider at the top of the straight. So where, whereabouts did it happen? It happened over there near the 700 metre mark. As soon as we fell, I heard her neck break and I heard my back break. I do remember laying there because um, I heard voices come up and someone said, she's dead. And I've gone, no, I'm not. And I'm not too sure. I've always thought, did they say it about the horse or was it me? Because no one had come near me. And I know the horse had died, so I just thought, well, maybe they mean the horse. So I yelled, but I yelled out, I'm oh, no, I'm still here. She just said, I'm still alive, darling. So I'm very grateful. He said to me the other day that he wants a mum that could walk. Nothing can beat the thrill of riding a horse. Not even the fear of death? Not at all. <laughs> I could possibly end up going to the Olympics. 